There must be some way We are very happy to have you here. I'm happy to be here. And I am Charlie. No, you are Charlie, sorry. I am Charlie. <laughs> Why you call yourself I am Charlie and not just Charlie? Mm. You know what I mean? Well, there's not really a clear reason. It's just, it was Charlie from the beginning, uh -huh. but um, yeah, it just made it a bit more interesting. I think. I think basically I've spoken to this young lady on more than one occasion. <laughs> there's an air of originality. Mm -hmm. There might be an influence, maybe subconsciously, from PJ Harvey, Björk, but actually she is I Am Charlie. The and, originality uh, is there. It's there, yeah, definitely. You know, and uh, where all this beauty came from, Charlie? Sweden. Sweden, yeah. Sweden. You been yeah. to Sweden? Um, no, but uh, looking at this young lady, uh, you have to go. I would like to pop over. <laughs> I would like to. So, you born there? Yeah, I'm born, born in a very small town, north of Sweden. Mm -hmm. You know, where you drive snow scooters to school. And um, <laughs> when did you start, uh, you know, um, uh, getting involved in the music and all this kind of thing? Well, I sort of uh, grew up in a musical family. It was ah, um, musical hundreds family. of instruments in the living room. Everybody's playing music. You all are the time. an instrumentalist, actually. You, I mean, you play. Uh, you play drums. drums. Yeah, I play drums. You play keyboards. Yes. <laughs> you use your voice as an instrument as opposed to just being a stereotypical vocalist. So yeah. that's three instruments. Or yeah. This is what I like to. I mean, can you give us an example how you use your Vocalist. <laughs> You're not going to make her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've yeah, got I'm a better idea. She's, she's got a video, okay? <laughs> yeah. Let me just give you a bit of a potted history here. Okay. She's come over and straight away she got playlisted on how many stations? Six stations. Six stations. My yeah. favourite station, Q. Yeah. Uh, Absolute Radio. Yeah. Amazing yeah. Radio. Shoreditch Radio. Shoreditch Radio. Um, she's, she's going somewhere and she will be there sooner than you think um, she's um well i don't know how long how long do he going to get there how long it will yes, take you yes, think yeah well I, ro I work pretty hard so hopefully soon <laughs> sure. I, I thought you were going uh, there tomorrow well so you know what it takes time to build a career mm -hmm. it takes yes. time yeah. and uh uh, and it takes originality. She has that in abundance. Uh -huh. I mean, what what was your earliest influence when you began to become a writer performer? Mm. Oh, the very first one I think was uh, I lived in New Zealand for a while. All oh, right, mm. surfing. <laughs> surfing. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. So, a bit random. <laughs> so surfing, Beach Boys, um, an influence. Mm -hmm. Not really. It was actually a I girl called so. uh, Brooke Fraser. I don't know if okay. you heard of her, singer-songwriter. Yeah. And that's basically because I was starting to sing her songs in the car. So, okay. Yeah, that's basically how it started. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then what was the first instrument that you started writing on? Was it the keyboards? What comes first, the lyrics, the melody? What is the process in your songwriting? Um, it can vary. Sometimes I sit by the piano. I do some chords and I find some sort of melody to it, or I'm out for a walk. I write write songs most when I'm out for walks. What, just recording. A, a, lyric, a lyric flashes into your head. Uh, more a melody. More you, a melody. You've been described 
as a left field Janis Joplin. Is, yeah. <laughs> is, 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 do you take this as a compliment? She yeah. is, of course, an icon. Yeah. Oh, of course. Like, she came with a really, like, I would say, the first woman that really sang the blues. So, yeah, yeah of course, I look up to her in many ways. And I suppose my voice is much like her. And I've, I've listened to your work. I've heard yeah. the big ballads. I've spoken to you about your enveloping career and now you're speaking more and more about blues. Blues is obviously a great influence for you. Is this something that you are hoping to bring out in your repertoire? Yeah, it might actually do. It might go a bit more bluesy. We will see what happens. I'm going to go in the studio soon, so yeah. just that. I can, I, I, um, can I ask yeah. you um, a couple of questions? I mean, you know, we... And now our, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, audience, they wanted to see you appear. Do you have anything, you know, um, anything happening very soon? Do you, do you plan any appearances or whatever? Mm. There, there is a planned single release, the 29th of April. A single release, okay, yeah. but do you appear live anywhere? Well, have according, you, you according to the facts that came through from her management, uh -huh. there is a possible support with Doctor and the Medics of Spirit and the Sky fame, uh -huh. and that could be I Am Charlie at Charlie's in Golders Green. Oh, that's nice. I, <laughs> if you are uh, doing anything there, you know, I will be there because I love Charlie's. And I love Charlie's, uh, I'm talking about the place, and I love you as Charlie, you know, I, I'm not Charlie, I, you're Charlie. I love yes. Charlie. I am Charlie. I love Charlie. I love Charlie. I'm Charlie's. I love Charlie's. I, I, I tell you what, I tell you what, honestly, I love any Charlie. <laughs> especially you. A lot of people do. <laughs> anyway, you know, do you have enemies, Mike? Do I have enemies? Uh. Um, well, you know, it's been a rocky road in rock and roll, and I uh, have, you know, the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Time is my enemy. Is it runs so fast, and you know, this is what I have to do. And I feel, you know, uh, uh, embarrassed to say that all the time. You know what I mean? And uh, because I have to say goodbye to you in a minute. Okay. You know what I mean? Before, I can see a little yes. tear. <laughs> stage left. Do you have any tissue? I'm no. sorry. No, you <laughs> Use my it. hair. <laughs> <it off. laughs> Bye. You know, it's been lovely to have Charlie tonight. I'd like to present you with a yes. these, this oh. beautiful bouquet. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming on this <laughs> wonderful show. So there, I had to go to the National, baby, the National. Where Batista was, because I had to have it going on. The problem is, problem which we are now encountering in... Hello, Vasilis. <laughs> How are you? So it's clips, chat clips and videotape. Yeah? No, it's not. It's chat clips and videotape. Okay, I think you got that the wrong way around. Okay, so it's chat clips and videotape. Yeah. But tonight we have more chat and a video clip. Clip. We're going to talk about this book tonight. Have a look at this. So is from Moscow to Havana. Yeah, and it's written by our very special guest, Stephen Froller. Thank and you very much. He has a fantastic history because he's a playwright. Mm -hmm. He's from Chicago and he's been an actor and you've been here for what, 23 years? 23 years, yeah. Okay, what came first, the acting, the writing, or the First the acting, no, no. first the acting, first the acting. Expelled at 16, expelled I believe. Expelled at 16, that's, that's right, that's right. Not suspended, expelled, which means okay. you can't come back. When did <laughs> you start uh, writing? I started writing when I hit England, but before, so we went from, I went from Chicago at 16 to Los Angeles, <laughs> ran away to be a movie star. Okay, that was so the that's film the acting, side. Yeah. That's the acting, so that's yes, five yes, years yes. in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and then two years in New York after that to do theater. And then after that, London. And okay. London, I start. I start. I was starting to get the acting going in London. And somebody said, "Well, 
what about, can you branch out? Can you do anything else? And I said, well, I, th I think I can write. So I started writing. It but to but you did the five years in Los Angeles. Did the five years. Pursuing the acting and obviously acting. A lot of that experience must have come into the next phase of your life, which was the stage side. That's right. And the culmination of this experience obviously inspired you in your craft as an author. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, if you're going to write it, might as well star in it, right? Write a nice little part for yourself. Okay. That's, that's, the, that's the... Well, before we talk about this fantastic book, which is like a travel book. Travel journal. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a travel I, journal. Mm. You wrote plays. You had one yes, at, If I remember rightly, reading my notes, you mm -hmm. had a fantastic play at... Theatre Cluid. I did, I did. It was my first play. And you had a bit of a diva in that. I did, I did. She's a double Academy Award nominee, Sylvia Miles. And that ran for a month? Uh, we did a month out there. It was, it was my first play, and I took the leading man. So she was my leading lady. She played my mother. Was it here in London? It was in Wales. Theatre Cluid. Theatre Cluid, yes. You know, it's like the, yeah. there's like the 12 tryout uh -huh. places yeah. where you try it's things out and bring them in. Space. Yeah, it's super And space. the theme, or at least the backdrop for this play, was a place that made these things. <laughs> Shoes. Just like those. You may have had some like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice are, shoes, mate. These were nice from shoes, a place yes. called Our Souls in, yeah. um, oh, I got my, in I, uh, King's Road. I get mine there, too. Yeah? And a place on Sunset Boulevard, but we digress. Okay. We, we digress. <laughs> the backdrop for this play yeah. uh, was... A shoe shop, or was it children, a set of shoe children's shop? shoe shop? Because my parents, my parents okay. ran shoemakers. Uh, no, not shoemakers. Uh, they ran children's shoe stores. They had ah. seven. Any oh. elves in it? Elves and the shoemaker? Nothing to do with plenty, that. plenty, plenty. After you had a few drinks, but yeah. okay. <laughs> so, can you give us uh, more information <laughs> about this journey? I mean, how it happened? Well, this, well, this journey. Yeah, to yeah. skip to the what, I, what I've done. We're skipping basic, from shoes to from, from this. shoes to from shoes to this, but okay, it's easy. Yes, I, yes. It's easy. I'm, I'm I was trying to make a smooth. Segwind, segwind. We're going straight Let's just, into we'll go straight into it. I got maps and everything. I mean, uh -huh. basically, I, I travel so much anyway, and I keep journals. Basically, that I did. I've been doing South America, Central America. So I decided to make because those are actually quite some really interesting, exciting adventures happened in those. So I decided to make travel journal. Each mm -hmm. one has a map. This is the first in the series of eight, which are already written. So the trips have been taken, and the books. But have this been one written. is the first. This is published. the first. This is the yes. this is the first out. There's going only, to be only seven more books. There's seven more, and they're already uh, done. Okay. So yeah, no, but yeah. you don't want them to come out all, all right. at once. So they're, they're no, no. Well, so, uh, what, there, well, so there's a map. What basically. do you cover in this book? I mean, well, in this book, the this main first book, story. The main story was this trip started in Moscow, and I put a map on it. So each uh -huh. each book will have a map. This one went from Moscow, Moscow to Madrid, Madrid to Paris, and Paris to Havana City Jail. And um, yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, incarceration. It, yeah. Uh, yeah. And it was a 10 day... 10 days only, 10 days. Incarceration. Ten why, days only, why this journey? I mean, what why was this, this Why this journey? This journey was, I, I started out in Moscow, mm -hmm. and I was there with a friend on business, and I went out as a guest to a restaurant to some Reuter, wow. Reuters correspondents. You, knew, you know what they're like. So of course Absolutely. there was liquor involved at the table but it was the bottles of liquor and I thought they, it was wine but of course it was vodka straight oh, vodka okay so and you get to talk and then the vodka gets because they after taste two quite bottles, similar yeah, vodka similar, and yeah, wine yeah. 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 after a few it does it does and you know <laughs> the actually. Reuters people are like they, they like a drink anyway I wandered out of that restaurant wandered into the street and I had had with me a packet of pills that I got at the hotel over the counter because I said I had a headache and wanted to relax and she said they're just like Valium, uh -huh. little something like Valium. They're green, and but it was in Russian, so I couldn't read the back of it. And she said they were just like Valium. These pills proceeded to wipe my memory out for about 23 hours a day. Oh so God. I suddenly would wake up and I'd be in a different hotel, oh luxury hotels. I had great taste of during course, the But I, you know what I mean? I was on the move. So when I, whatever I was doing for 23 hours, I was on the move. I had American Express cards and obviously I wanted to stay at the night. So, so I'd wake up at, at a new hotel surrounded by new people and be uh, conscious for about an hour. And then I guess I must have just kept 
taking the green pills, not realizing well, okay. that Cut. that's what's wiping I'm me say, out. I'm going to say a couple of more questions. Yeah. Where do you find the pills? I mean, they, they the doctor uh, describe no, it to no, you? No, 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 you don't need that in no. Russia. No. At the hotel, at the yeah. Ukraine, it's one of those seven big ones, you okay. know, those old communists. No, right across with the Tootsie Rolls and the toilet paper and the toothpaste. Over the counter. Over the counter. It's, it's, and, and she you said just get them say that yes. way. It's a bit like calm. Like yeah. you know, calm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah, go yeah, and no. you say, I'm a little bit like stressed. volume. Can yes, I have, yeah. 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 Okay. You don't need, and, but I couldn't read the back because it was on Russian. So yeah. obvious. Later, somebody I, somebody yes. translated and said, "You're not supposed to drink them with alcohol." But I didn't. <laughs> but you did so, it without knowing, yes? I did without knowing. It's okay. in Russian. What can All I? Right. So so basically, after six or seven days waking up in a different hotel in Russia, uh, somehow I then managed to get onto a plane to Madrid. Well, there was one of the Reuters oh. correspondents. Total coincidence. On the flight. They'd been looking for me because I'd kind of vanished for about six days. Interpol was called. My God. I was like, yeah, but I was fine. I didn't realize the pill. It was the Russian greens. I don't know what they were. The Russian okay. greens. So, so I got up. Yes. The lady on the lady on on the Iberia flight said, I, "He's on this plane. He's drinking, but he's on this plane and he's off to Madrid." So then I went to Madrid. The green pills. Wore off. I think I, they didn't wear off. I ran out of Did them. Did you know where you were going? I mean, I, 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 yes, because during that hour of Compass Mentis, I was making plans and things. But I was obviously doing things during the 23, too, but I don't really know what. But I, I had a plan, obviously. But I had credit cards, so then I ended up in Madrid, then Madrid, Paris, and then the greens ran out, and I started to get pretty Compass Mentis, but I was in Havana mm -hmm. by that time. Okay. None of my Visa and MasterCards had any money left, but I Hit American Express. Okay. And I was just on a holiday. In my mind, I would think, but listen, honest, I was. The whole thing started, I was planning on taking a little holiday anyway. And when I was in Russia, I was thinking, I need a break, right? So in my mind, this was the holiday. I just kind of didn't tell anybody, but I'm a big boy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Russian greens, but they, you know, they were making, they started to wear off, but I'm in Havana, but I got the American Express cards. I have an American passport. Uh -huh. So you're really not allowed to go to uh -huh. Cuba, especially from America, yes. you can now. But you, you, you have to go from outside, which I did. I came from Paris, uh -huh. so they let you in. but. American Express cards aren't accepted there. They don't really like anything with the word American on it. So yes. it's illegal to actually, it's on their statute books, it's illegal to be in Cuba yeah. with no funds. Well, I didn't know that. Did I had two American Express cards. Okay. Two. What's the problem? <laughs> I got to the airport. I, I realized my error, you know, going there because I wanted some sun and and, yeah. and and extracurriculars. I was sick of Russia. I had all these winter clothes, no summer clothes. It was okay. freezing, so I'm in in, in Havana with all these wool muffs and wolf coats and all this. So I was like, okay, this isn't gonna work. They don't take American Express here. I couldn't get out of the airport. None of the airlines took it either. And so I'm there, and I started drinking. You know, you do. <laughs> You're pissed. So I started having beers. I was partying with the toilet attendant ladies after a while, or whatever. You know, the, the flight leaves. I can't get on the thing. I'm getting drunk. You're yeah. pissed now. No, no Russian greens. I'm just getting. Okay. So. Know? Tell me, you wrote the book just to tell the people about, the, about this trip, yes, about the yes, trip, and but I went to jail. I had yeah. to go to jail because it was illegal. They arrested me at the airport eventually. It was a political arrest. It was a political arrest. And not a criminal arrest. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. all my campaign, I was in the political prison. There's two. There's but the whilst best, yes. in prison, you met some so, I, Yes, I interesting I did, I did because, listen, there's no drinking. All the pills were taken away. Greens, blues, yellow, no pills, no booze. So, so Suddenly, here you are with your new mates. I have all pictures of them because I had the book illustrated. Uh -huh. So we've got the Haitian five. I was in the political prison, not the rapist murderer. What I was going for people who like here's the Haitian five. They were on an inner tube, a black inner tube, trying to escape from Haiti up to Canada. I think I never got that, but that's a long way. <laughs> and it sunk. It sunk off of Cuba. So they were in there. Here's the Haitian five. We have the Iraqi. Um, the Iraqis, the Afghanistani, father and son, Kabul. And so everybody got their nicknames and they'd all sing their national songs at night. And I had friends, I made friends. What was and the was uh, accommodation like I, in your cell? Was it, did you have a beautiful, nice bunk? Listen, the Afghan, the Afghanis uh, actually, 
rolled up everything very neatly and put everything sort of facing Mecca, I figured. And so it was it tra sort of like a travel lodge. Yeah. Like. It was it, for them, and they were very neat, and uh, they were there because Sorry, they, travel lodge, <laughs> only a joke. <laughs> <laughs> My journals are sort of the, the, the alternative sort of travel guides. It's yeah. the travel guide because, yeah, they, well, they, they all, they don't always end up in prison. You know, I mean. think um, it's a very good cool story for um, a film. I mean, uh, have you ever thought about writing a, yeah. a script? Oh, yeah, Making all day, every day. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure do. Do you plan to do that? I sure have got it on the back burner. I can play a Russian, forward. you know, guard or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, give me a small part, you know. Well, I yeah, I mean, guard, you yes. know, it's, it's We've it's had some adventures on airplanes. Definitely, <laughs> you remember, yes. yes. With tell, this old lady. Tell, tell, I yes. was telling them about the Spanish. About the old lady, yes, yes, yes. yes. No. He said, uh, yeah. you know, because our guest who won the, uh, the, the Greek yeah. version of the X yes. Factor, yes. Right. she put her passport in the in the luggage which ended up on the plane okay. so he had to go and fetch her Arrange he said something you Mike know, there's yeah. a lady from Hellenic TV make sure yeah, you, get her, of, uh, uh, you get, know, the manager. get her on the plane yes we tried to help you know the and I, I got the, the wrong day. woman I got yeah, a Spanish yeah, yeah, yeah. woman <laughs> You were looking after the wrong woman. Yeah. Yes. She didn't get to Spain. I, I felt terrible. So he thought it was the Greek woman and it was the Spanish yeah. woman and then yeah. woke up. I, and oh, I see. When I got on the plane, <laughs> she was already on there with a the Costa's coffee. Yes. The cities was in running the plane. I was running and looking for her. And, and the, she was in the plane. Yeah. And the lady that's who won sad. the competition, she yeah. was on the plane too. Was all, Where have you been? There's a poor old Spanish lady. I very much doubt she got to Spain that day. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you anyway, know, it does not. It doesn't compare with some of the stuff in, you have a, in this excellent I mean, book, what, which is what called Moscow the, to yes. Havana. A fantastic. What are the good uh, experiences? And I got out. I escaped. I did escape. Well, I didn't escape. They what are the go. good experiences you have out of this? I mean, you oh, I made lots of mates in prison. Yeah. No, it was nice. They was they, they all sang. They all had their. Mm -hmm. So we'd sing every night. You could hear them from their cells. Yes, uh, yes. They, they each one singing. Some singing. And then how you managed to uh, to, to get escape? Out of all this to escape? escape? They yes. they got sick of me. And I had a broken Visa card. Uh -huh. And Visa works there. Mastercard, just not American Express. But I had snapped it in two. You got some salad. Time. And they and they the police chief took me um, a police escort around to all the banks to try to paste the broken visa because I had like three or four thousand pounds on it mm -hmm. to paste the visa. Eventually, they took he took me to his sister who worked at the National Hotel and he's like you know Maria we, this, we I've had this guy all day we've had him at the banks and everything she, can you help she's like bring him to me I'll fix it and she's like I'll give it to me I fix and here she is actually <laughs> there's yeah. Maria she said I fix and yes she took sellotape pasted it together rant said how much do you want can we get her gave picture? me yes you can get to Maria's at the Nationals I fix right, there right. she is I fix can I, I fix I yes, fix yes. and then so she sellotaped there she is it. there she is she fixed she fixed she <laughs> sell <laughs> Sellotaped it, so I spent ten days in prison, and all they had to do was sellotape the bloody card together. She's like, "How much do you want?" I'm like, 3000 She's like, "You got it." And then the police did the next week said, "Now you can stay in the country as long as you want, because you've got funds again. Yeah. You're welcome." And I'm uh -huh. like, "You know what? I gotta go." Yes. <laughs> and and, and, you and left. there you have it. And uh, then I, I did leave. Okay. Yes. And there now, you have it. Can you please, before you go? Yeah. Can you sign the book for me? You, you know, just uh, you know, because I want to read it. I want to find oh, out. Yeah. You know, and you know, I'm the, presuming that you're yeah. going to promote it on your radio show. Definitely. Well. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's got and, a fantastic uh, show. Yes. It's on LGR. And at the same time, do we have anything? Any clips? Because we're talking about yeah. chats, chat, clips. <laughs> And, and video tape. I've got a movie, a little short movie that I made where I actually talk about this trip. So, that's well, got Havana. Can so. you, could you do us the honor and introduce the clip, which was was shot by uh, Dylan, was it? Uh, no, it was actually shot It was actually shot by some other fellows, um, uh, Colin Seymour and Simon Mercer, but he uh, he did the editing on it, because it used to be 20 minutes, and he's put it down to three. Okay. So okay. Three minutes got good enough for us, yes? yeah? Yeah. Three minutes is good enough for us. That's yeah. good yeah. Enough, then. Okay, then well, yeah. if you'd like to introduce right, well, the clip, yes, that'll please. be fantastic. Fabulous. Here's the clip. Moscow to Havana. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. How do you know that I haven't already started? 
Maybe I've already started telling about how I went. See, that's the kind of aggravation I had when I was in Moscow. Right before I was ready to leave Moscow with Sam and I was went out with, with Reuters correspondent. Drinking vodka like it was wine and I didn't want to be unsociable. And I, you know, they're and I would have preferred wine so I could pace myself, but I didn't want to be a bad, the anti-social. So I was like, you know, like I am, like I am. And I just wandered off. I was like, wah! I was out of that restaurant to the disco. And from there, I was loose. I could, I just wandered off and flagged people in the street because that's how you do taxis. They just get the locals to pick up. And I had the big furry hat and the wolf gloves and I was ready to rock, rock. Rock. And I went mad. And things just escalated. And checked out of the hotel, and checked into another hotel. The Metropol I checked into, I know because I have a toothbrush. Taxis, hotels, vodka. Snap off into, woke up at the Kempinski, looking at St. Basil's. I only have flashes and hotel bills, <laughs> so I know where I was. Suddenly I'd be in another hotel and it would be another day. Big blackouts. I mean, a day, you know, almost 20, 23 hour blackouts, one hour clear and then the next 23 hour blackout. New hotels, new faces, new everything. I decided, you know what, it's time for some sun. This will be fun, let's keep with the Soviet angle. R Russia, Cuba. Russia, Cuba. And then, then to the airport for Havana, Havana. Now catch flight to Havana, to Havana. It's, I want some sun. I found myself on a plane. Fly, birdie, fly, fly. I'll have a lovely flight, got some drinks going. On the way to Havana, Air France. We're in communist southern territory. True communist Havana, because I thought that would be hip and cool. I was on a holiday, just wanted to take a little break. It's true, I forgot to tell everybody where I was going, but that's besides, that's none of your business right now. I'm on holidays. I want to go on a holiday for a few months, maybe. But, so, I'm there at the National. Yeah, I had to go there. I had to go to the National, baby, the National. Where Batista was, because I had to have it going on. The problem is, problem which we are now encountering in Cuba is, they don't take an American Express, okay? but as I was ready to leave the next day anyway, so I thought, now I really gotta get out of here. And, but now I've just got whatever cash I can. I pay off the hotel bills, go to the airport. Mexicana, why not? What, that's what I'm thinking. I didn't have enough money for the taxi ride. <laughs> oh, lecture, lecture. Can you just pay my taxi driver? It's only $20. And you know, all the police are around. I can see them, I see you, I see the police around. Gather up my belongings and go from counter to counter trying to get them to take American Express. Go back to Mexicana and hear them say they don't take no broken visa cards and and they don't know how to fix that. Can you make it work? Okay, if you do, I'll give you 100 US dollars, okay? Why, why, why? Get the pounds out of it. He's like, but it's broke. And I'm like, yeah, but I, that, I, I, I. And nobody's dealing with the visa. Nobody's dealing with American Express. Paste. <laughs> They're like, we will, we try. We stay in your, in your box. All the le attendants love me. They're like, no. The airport staff loves me because I'm starting to talk to them. They're like, you're so fancy. <laughs> what? They're like, you look good. I'm like, I don't want to hear that mess anymore. I know I look good. I know I got it going on. Now I'm just going to go back into town. I'm going to go back into Havana. Oh, don't say that. Now I'm drunk. Oh, I take my baggage and leave the t box. <gasps> Woo, the police can't because they were around me anyway. Listen, and they're like, did you say you're going to go back into Havana? And I'm like, yeah, you know what? You guys ain't got it going on. I step out of the taped line and say, I'm going back into town. Whoa, they arrested me. And they handcuffed me and they, I'm like, what have I done? Handcuffed because it's illegal to not have any funds. Back into the country without sufficient funds. And two, two American Expresses aren't sufficient funds. And I'm like, but I got American Express. So like, we don't hear that. It's illegal to be in Cuba with no money. And I'm like, ow, oh, ow. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I got the visa, they're like, it's broke. They put me in the paddy wagon, I'm like, oh, is that how we deal with things? That's all you know. Taste it. We, you know, we don't have that facility. In prison. In prison. Jail. Prison in Cuba.
Well, that definitely makes me want to read the book once more. <laughs> it's a good bedtime. And yes. uh, also, yes. you were going to mention the play that you're doing, and oh, maybe yeah. he can pop along and have a look at it. Definitely, oh, yeah. yes, definitely, yes. I'm doing, you know, I'm doing a play, you know, uh, producing a play uh, from. Aristophanes, how you say it? Aristophanes, yeah. yeah. Yes, and, uh, that's the Greek way of saying it. Called, yes. He should know his <laughs> Greek. <laughs> it's called faith, separate. Faith. You know, faith, yes. Faith. Plutus, you know, and money. It's all, faith. it's all male cars. Wealth, you know what I mean? Wealth. Ah, you know, yeah, wealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plutus. Plenty of money, you know oh, what I mean? Yes, <laughs> but there's no money subject. available. <laughs> anyway, and um, I want you to consider yourself of, uh, you know, taking part in it, if you oh, like. You know what I mean? Yes. You got a deal. Yeah, okay. I'll come along to a reading if I'm invited. Definitely. But you in the invited. meantime, yes. I'd like to say thank you so much for coming on chat, thank clips, you. and videotape. Thank you so much. It was uh, a pleasure to thank have you here. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And thank you, Mike, again. Thank you, know. you for thanking me. Thank Thank you. So it was chat, clips, clips and videotape. Video For the time being, have a good uh, night and good night.